So chat, there's an article that came out yesterday and I know that it kills them to make this article. IGN put out an article yesterday that says PlayStation 5 exclusive Stellar Blade sells 1 million copies. They're like, damn it, man. Why is this game doing so well? What the hell? Damn, 1 million copies. Let's freaking go, dude. PlayStation 5 action game Stellar Blade has sold more than 1 million copies, developer Shift Up has announced. As reported by VGC, the studio hosted a Stellar Blade presentation where it, re where it revealed that estimates now suggested that the game has sold upwards of the 1 million mark. That number may grow even more if Shift Up releases a PC version. Something it is currently looking at, but is unsure uh, as on a result of contractual relationship with PlayStation owner Sony. So here's the thing. There is probably a one year exclusivity that it has. Same thing like Final Fantasy Remake and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We know that they have a one year exclusivity. So I'm pretty sure that's what it got to. Shift Up also reiterated prior comments that it's considering releasing more downloadable content and even a sequel to Stellar Blade. We need camera mode it needs to be added day one, man. And here's the thing. I believe version 005 just launched a couple of days ago too, which is crazy. A photo mode coming in August. That's when we'll be going back, chat. That's when we're going to be going back. Uh, further outfits for protagonist Eve coming in October and more are already announced for the game. Though Shift Up did tease a big collaboration in the end of 2024. If there's Nikkei crossover, Nikkei crossover with um with Stellar Blade is like it's like a no-brainer. But a big collaboration would be with Yoko Taro putting in 2B's outfit. Imagine putting 2B outfit into this game. It's Oh man, that's gonna be great. Let's see. Uh, the 1 million sales will likely make a sequel more likely, giving fans who enjoyed the game more hope. But an official announcement is likely still very far away as Stellar Blade only launched on April 26. Yeah, that's two months ago. Its sci fi action adventure took inspiration from Alita Battle Angel 80s and 90s science fiction and a taxi driver strike, according to director Kim Hyung Tae. It's already enjoyed a handful of post launch updates, too, including one which added a boss challenge, new outfits, and more. In our 7 out of 10 review, IGN Stellar Blade is a great in all of the most important ways for the action game, but dull characters lack. Do they not know how fat Eve's ass is? She freaking has a dump truck. All the characters that are face characters that you see in her face are hot. Like Enya, a side character that's insanely hot that has a voice of a fucking angel. Lily, if they actually, if these crazy ass people actually played the game and did Lily's side quest, they would have been like, oh, Lily actually is a lesbian because she was actually has a very good and intimate relationship with another girl. Oh my God, these people. These, oh my God, dude. I, I, I gotta continue. A lackluster story and several frustrating elements of its lore, sorry, of its role-playing game mechanics prevent it from soaring along with the rest of the genre. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. You're 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 saying that she's dull? You're You're saying that she's dull? Piece of shit. Piece piece, piece of shit. All right, it's fine. It's fine. They they're just mad. They're just mad that the game sold 1 million copies, all right? They're just mad that the game sold 1 million copies to a game that is like, oh, the whole the, 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 the gamer gates and the, the hot characters, sexualizing characters. Shut the hell up, man. We're going to be getting Stellar Blade 2. We're going to be getting more DLCs and collaborations in the future. And I can't wait to buy one of those, uh, those statues. I might buy the one that's nude. Who knows? But 
IGN is mad. The fact that Ryan Dixdale made this article probably infuriates him to no end. But man, like I said, um, this game, I'm glad it sold a million copies. I can't wait for it to go to PC. I know it eventually will. And oh, I can't wait to see the mods. The mods are going to be good. The mods, oh, this, this, this game is so good. We're, we're going to go back. In August, we are going to be going back and playing Stellar Blade for sure. 100%. Not, that's not even a question.